cookie swirl? See? <laughs> Hello there, cookie fans. I'm so excited to say the peanut butter family is growing. We are going to be adding in a brand new family member to this peanut butter family. In my previous videos, I'm sure you may have seen me create PBBB and her brother. Yeah. This cute little peanut butter puppy. Me. The little itty bitty baby peanut butter sister. And their peanut butter mama. So now we're going to be creating the peanut butter papa for them. So we're going to be creating him by using this fashionista Ken doll right here. But I think he would be absolutely perfect for the family because he also has this man bun in the back, which is just like how his son's hairstyle is. He's got his really high man bun right on top of his head. So that is exactly what we are going to do to his hair. So I'm going to go in with some acrylic paint. Do, 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 do. And I'm now going to paint his hair with this creamy peanut butter color. All right, say goodbye to brown hair. Now we're making it peanut butter hair. Paint that man bun. And I can switch over to a smaller brush and that way I can easily paint the details that are a little bit closer to his head. There we go. Easy, easy. Oh, this is really changing him up. Look at how different he looks already. It's so much fun to paint their hair and see how different they look. I think that's so cool. All right, and once that first coat of paint dries, now I'm gonna go in with a second coat and just paint, 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 paint. Just make sure the whole entire head of hair is all covered up. No splotchy splotchy. Paint that man bun. And it looks like I'm still gonna go in with a third coat of paint because I'm still seeing some splotchy splotchy here and that is not allowed. So a little bit more peanut butter and we'll paint. Just cover up any of his old hair color. Wanna make sure it's nice and covered. Oh, there's a splotchy. All right, his hair is all done. Now I'm just gonna go in and darken up his eyes, even though it looks like they already are like a light brown color. I want him to match his family and have dark brown eyes. So I'm going in with one of my favorite paint colors because look at what it's called. It is called chocolate bar, you guys. Yum, yum. Makes me feel like I'm painting with real chocolate. Oh, it's so pretty. And I'm just gonna go in with a toothpick because I need to paint very, very, very carefully right in his eye and I'm just going to take the tip of my toothpick and just slightly add color and just kind of bounce that paint. So I put a little paint and then sometimes I flip it over to my other side and just drag it. So a little dot of paint and now drag it with the other side. <gasps> there we go. Look at that. Oh, it looks so good. Yes, he's got chocolatey dark brown eyes. Woo! All right, there we go. Now we've darkened his eyes up so he matches with his family. So now I'm also going to lighten up his lips a little bit, make it more of a peanut buttery color. So I'm just gonna be using a little teeny tiny touch of this brown because his lips are a little bit too peachy color. So I'm just gonna kind of darken them just a little bit to make it a little bit more peanut buttery. There we go. Yes, awesome. All right, now that he has his face completely finished. Oh, you know what we could add? We could add an earring also just like Peanut Butter Boy has. He has a little gold earring right here in his ear. Let's give his dad an earring too. So just gonna use my gold metallic paint right on the back of my toothpick. Just put a little dot and then we'll just pierce his ear. How easy is that? One little ear piercing. Boop, there we go. Okay, now we're ready to get started on his clothing. Now, to paint his clothing, I should be using fabric paint to make it work the best. Then the clothing would actually stay kind of movable and easy to, you know, dress him and all. But I wanna keep the same colors that I have for the rest of his family. So I'm just gonna be using basic acrylic paint. So whenever you paint acrylic paint on fabric, it can crack, it can get really hard and stiff. But I'm gonna do exactly what I did here with the Peanut Butter Mama. And I'm I'm just going to seal his whole entire outfit in with some Mod Podge. So I'm gonna give this a really good shake. 
with a big brush, I'm just gonna go in, and I guess we should start with his pants first. So I'm gonna start by painting his jeans completely with Mod Podge because they are gonna be a totally different color now. So this Mod Podge will act as a sealer and it will kind of, just kind of help with the cracking that will happen over time with the fabric. But to me, it's totally worth it because I don't plan on changing out his outfit at all. He's just gonna be living in these clothes forever. So just paint, paint, paint. And then once I have everything covered in Mod Podge, then I'm going to let his pants dry. All right, now I'm gonna go in with this kind of peanutty butter color. Everything's like peanut butter color. And we are just going to put a little bit on my brush here. Oh, the brush barely fits into the container. There we go. And now I'm just going to, oh, there we go, paint on, directly on the fabric of his shorts. Hmm, it looks a little bit lighter than what I painted on Peanut Butter Boy's shorts. But I'll have to see what it looks like once it dries. So just completely paint his shorts here. A little piece hanging off of one of the little hairs. A little chunky piece. Now I'm just gonna get as close as I can to the top part of the shorts too. But mostly the top part of his shorts will not be seen because his shirt will cover it a little bit. But still I wanna get as close as I can. And it's okay if I paint on his skin accidentally just a little bit because you can easily just scratch it off once it dries. All right, and now once that layer dries, now I'm gonna go in with more paint and paint on a second coat. And his pants color actually did darken up now that it has dried a bit, so it's turning out to be the perfect peanut buttery color. So his pants have now been painted and now we need to work on his shirt because it totally does not go. It is clashing with this outfit. So to prime and get it ready, you gotta go in with that Mod Podge again and seal the fabric on the shirt. There we go, so seal it all in. It totally just fell off. That's so crazy. Well, good thing it didn't fall off in the Mod Podge. All right, once I get everything completely coated on his shirt with this layer of Mod Podge, I'm gonna let it dry overnight. All right, his shirt is now all dry, so now I'm going to paint it this creamy white color. But you guys have heard me talk about this color over and over again because it's called Toasted Marshmallow. Oh, look at it too. Yum, it looks like a melted marshmallow. I say that every time, but it just makes me so happy. Now, I do wanna be a little careful as I paint closer and closer and closer to his shorts because I don't want to get any toasted marshmallow color on it. I'll just go in with a smaller brush whenever I get a little bit close here. And if I happen to get some paint on him, it easily just scratches away. All right, that dried pretty nicely, but still looking super duper splotchy. So we definitely need to go in again with another coat and just paint, paint, paint. Right. It looks like you could probably use another coat of paint. I'm still seeing some little splotchy areas and there can be no splotchy. So I'm just gonna go in and do another coat of paint on him. Now it's okay that I'm not painting his collar here because I'm going to end up painting that a brown color, but his shirt, I definitely want it to be this creamy color. Under his armpit, Ooh. there we go. And this looks like the final coat and the back of him. All right, looking good. Now, I'm gonna have him match his son just a little bit more. I think they're gonna be wearing a very similar shirt. So he has all of these little dark brown peanuts all over his hoodie. So I'm gonna do the same thing for his dad. So I'm gonna go in with my dark brown. I'm just going to cover his shirt in these itty bitty teeny tiny peanuts. I mean, there's gonna be like a million on his shirt. Woo, he's gonna have one nutty shirt.
All right, there's one side done. Now the other. All right, now we need to add peanuts to the back. Might as well, right? Let's just go nuts. And since I have this brown color out, I might as well match his shoes too. Now I'm going to go back to his shirt and I'm actually going to paint this little detail piece all the way down and his collar. So we'll just go back in with that brown and just paint. I think this is going to look perfect. It's going to add just enough color to his shirt. And of course, he's going to match with the rest of his family. Now I'm going to paint all the way down his shirt. And once that dries, of course, I'm going to go in with a second coat. go back into and actually put those peanuts on his actual sleeve as well. So he is just covered in peanuts all over. Now I'm going to go in with a little detailed brush and just kind of clean up the line here. Make it a little bit smoother and cover up any areas that I accidentally painted out of the lines. Just cover that up. There we go. And then just kind of buff it out. All right, now I'm going to seal everything in with a coat of Mod Podge. So everywhere I paint it, it's just going to get all sealed. And I'm even going to go over his lips and his eyes since I gave him new eye color. And I'm going to paint his hair and shoes. And can't forget about his tiny little earring. All right, where is he? What does the peanut butter dad look like? Here he is. I think he fits in so perfectly with the family. So here they are all together. I am so excited with how he turned out. I'm so happy that Barbie now makes these man bun dolls because it just, it worked out absolutely perfect for him. So him and his son kind of have that same peanutty crazy shirt. I love that they all had that same color combo going on, that peanut butter and rich and creamy color. It just works out so perfectly. So this is the peanut buttery family. Of course, we can't forget about Jelly. I wonder what her mom and dad look like. So make sure you're subscribed. You can search Cookie Swirl C on YouTube and subscribe and that way you will always get my newest video. And I have lots of other DIYs too. So come on in, join the fun and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye Cookie fans. Trick or treat. Oh, it looks like it's a treat. I have a brand new t-shirt that is so adorable that's available exclusively in my Teespring shop. It's a cute little cookie girl who's cuddling a little cookie. Oh, it's so adorable. <laughs>